Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got China Glaze, Don't Let the Dead Bite, and I Love Your Guts. I'm going to do a bunch with it. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2, and here is I Love Your Guts, and Don't Let the Dead Bite. These are some older Halloween polishes from China Glaze. They're, they're a little funky, and I like them. I always try to break them out every Halloween. So I am going to do some kind of mixing and matching. I've got... Uh, the I love your guts on some nails and then don't let the dead bite on others so we're just gonna we're just gonna play with them and I love them they're so Halloween I mean they're not like the orange and you know yellow and purple but these are like kind of gory looking Halloween colors but in a pretty kind of way so I hope that made sense good gosh but this one looks like a flesh tone with, you know, like chunks in it. <laughs> and I like it. Because it's got the pink colors to it. So you guys know I'm drawn to it. It's kind of pink looking. I like that. So there's the first coat of those. We're going to go in with the second coat. Of course, this one right here really didn't need it. But I just have it, you know. Have it got to do, you know, got to do what our habits tell us. There we go. Come on. And I'm just tapping the end because it is kind of a, it's got glitters in it and stuff, you know, and I don't like anything sticking off the end. So there we go with our second coat of this one. How gorgeous. Now these, you know, they're unusual polishes. And I remember the year they came out, they were very, very popular. So uh, I had to have them. I'm going to top them with some of this Fast and Hard by Bot. Vibrant Vinyls. I have trouble with that every time. I know y'all picked up on this. Vibrant Vinyls. And I'm going to get it to dry down so that we can do some playing. Now, I know y'all have noticed uh, some videos I've got long nails and some videos I've got short nails. That's because I'm not posting things in order. I'm trying to get the Halloween ones up and, you know, kind of mix and matching, flipping and flopping. And so we'll, um, we're going <laughs> to. I don't want y'all to be confused. I have shortened all of my nails. In fact, this hand that I'm painting right now is even shorter than that right this moment. So, um, we'll just have to, you know, deal with it for a little while. <laughs> Capping that free edge. I'm going to be stamping with the Born Pretty White Polish and MB402 and MB. BM413. I'm losing my mind. I've got a bunch of stampers out. I've got the new Maniology and some of the AliExpress ones. Those are Bundle Monster plates and it's Bundle Monster 413. I'm going to use this little skull on my two accent nails. I don't think I use the same skull. I think I use two different ones because I'm crazy like that. But I'm going to stamp these in white <clears throat> before we, you know, head on to the other part of this manicure because. I'm telling you, there's, there's just all kinds of stuff going on with this one. And excuse my gravelly voice. Um, what I thought was just like sinus issues from the weather change actually turned out to be a severe case of strep throat thanks to a co-worker. Yay! So here we go. I'm going to do some of these little coffins. I'm going to do some of them out on my stampers. And I'm going to fill them in with ruby pumps by China Glaze, because we love some Ruby, Ruby Pumps. We just love this one. And when I say we, I mean me. I do. I love this polish. It's just so, so pretty. And uh, I break it out any chance I can. If you've, <laughs> if you've been around for a minute, you know how I feel about this polish. <clears throat> I'm actually doing three of these coffins. I'm probably only going to show one, just because it's all the same. Um, but I'm going to put these on my thumb, my pointer, and my pinky just to, you know, jazz it up a little bit. And I love using these little clear stampers. They're just so easy to, you know, just flip them over, see where you're missing, and you can fill it in. And I just love that. So that is done there. I am going to take some of that ruby pumps and I'm going to dot it in on these um, skull images that I stamped on my nails just to kind of tie all of these in together, all of these nails. Um, I kind of wanted to make them look a little bit like sugar skulls, but you know, I don't know if I succeeded or not. I really liked them. I thought they were kind of wicked cool with that red. 
I thought it just was was a good deal. So I am going to go and use the tiny dotting tool and just put some more dots in random places on these images. Like I said, I'm just trying to make them blend in, everything work together. And you guys know, with me and my non-traditional self, I had to do a, yet another Halloween manicure with some, some non-traditional, you know, look to it. <laughs> They look kind of freaky to me, though. I'm going to be using this Pro FX base coat, the sticky base coat, on my nails before I put those reverse stamped decals down. I just have found it's just better for me to go ahead and do this step so that my decals transfer and stick pretty well. I am going to go catty corner with this because um, my nails are short, and I actually like it like that. I think it kind of looks cool. And then we're going to catty corner the one over here on my pinky. And it's not going to fit 100%, but it's okay. It's, you know, it almost makes it. Not quite, but close enough. So tapping that down. And that is on my thumb also. I did it kind of in the middle of my thumb. I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone. I've got just a little bit of decal sticking off of this nail I want to tidy up. And I like to just kind of tap, tap, tap it until I'm, you know, get most of it off of there. I don't want any chunks underneath. And then I got just a tiny, tiny bit at the top. We're going to get that cleaned up too. I'm going to top this with the Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. And... Some of the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And we're going to call this one To Did. To Done. Ta da. It is going to be finished. Now, I really thought this was pretty funky and cool. Um, I might have just been in the mood for it. But I would love to hear what you think about this crazy manicure of mine. Um, you know, I always love chat and polish with you. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Got some Woody action going on here. Woody to the rescue. Clean it up. So there we go. That's it. I've got a swatch photo coming up. And as always, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video. And until next time, be good to yourself.